This is the Dreamer's Dilemma. First search result. The Dream Collection Agency. A collection of artists and dreamers looking to create virtual reality experiences from literal human dreams. The Dream Collection Agency is a company formulated primarily to collect and record and catalog people's dreams. Ma'am, do you have just a moment to discuss dreams with us? Excuse me, sir. I know you're probably in a hurry, but I was wondering if you just had a moment to discuss your dreams. Uh, yeah, true doctors. Actually, we are dream technicians. I can give you a brochure here. We collect your dreams. We then recreate those dreams in a virtual reality environment. It does seem like a huge prank. Oh, no, sir. Uh, I'm Kevin Bird. My name is Dale Adams. And I'm Chris Pilcher. We are a group of performance artists called the Dream Collection Agency. This whole thing started as a public art project. On almost every telephone pole in Atlanta, there are these bandit signs that say things like, we buy junk cars or we buy houses, that type of thing. These objects, these houses and cars are very much people's dreams. So I wanted to make these signs, these We Buy Dream signs, sort of a very direct statement. We were talking casually. Chris had mentioned this idea he had for uh, collecting people's wishes or even people's dreams. And immediately my brain just lit off. Dreams are extremely interesting because uh, some people posit that they are a glimpse into our collective subconscious. The Dream Collection Agency is bringing that, that, that discussion to the forefront. And we spend about 30% of our time completely in a dormant state and in that dormant state we all go and travel to different worlds and then we come back to what we perceive as this reality and then we actually don't really talk about them very often collecting dreams is already a bit esoteric and weird but we wanted to go even deeper with it and recreate those dreams in a virtual reality environment I think it's one of those things that's going to be able to change the planet and I knew that kind of was the moment where I wanted to be involved in changing people's lives. We realized we could actually make this project happen and make it pretty spectacular, but it could be much, much more than a project. It could be a viable product. It could be uh, a viable company. We have over a thousand dreams currently. Uh, we've collected dreams in person using our evaluation forms through our telephone number and through our email address. These dreams have come from all over the world and cover a vast cross section of people. They bring out the cake and they sing happy birthday to the girl. And then she blows out the candles and then her brother turns into a vampire and eats her. The end. I had this dream where I got to become a member of the Red Hot. When I'm reviewing dreams, I'm evaluating on story, how successfully we can replicate it in VR and its potential universal nature. I'm flying through the air, but it's it's like an alien planet, and there are all these mysterious structures. I look down over this mountain range, and there's a labyrinth. A dark void, chasms, disorientation. This dream sounds perfect. It's definitely the one to go with. We are in the process of renovating our new facilities so that we can open a public dream experience and donation center. Uh, visitors will be able to experience another person's dreams. And when in one of our dream uh, experience facilities, you're able to um, experience other people's dreams. Having now collected the dreams of volunteers, the Dream Collection Agency look to build out both the physical and virtual space of their latest project, while managing the demands of reality. And virtual reality. So the process of turning a dream into a virtual reality experience is rather complicated. VR technology presents an immersive experience that is very much like uh, the dreaming experience. Once we pick out a specific dream that we're gonna turn into a virtual reality experience, 
we sit down and kind of go through what we want other people to see about that dream. We kind of storyboard it out. Then after that, we kind of walk through and recreate the specific parts of the dream. Basically, what ends up happening was that this particular person was, it's a flying dream. And at this time, we're on the ground level of building a labyrinth. And then you can participate by walking through it in the next sequence. Everyone else thinks that there's a whole big team of developers, but in truth, it's just me staying up every night by myself, coding and banging my head against the wall. You have to actually build all the 3D pieces. You have to actually put materials on all of those 3D pieces. Then you have to build the camera movements so people don't throw up. It's ridiculous. Good evening, Mrs. Smith. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Great. I'm doing very well. This is Dr. Adams. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you put this over your head, and, and then we'll have this put this on you from the back. There we go. Is that tight enough for you? Um, no, I think that's good. OK, cool. And we will uh, start this experience. There's no escape. This place has no end. Its opportunities misplaced in a crevasse of uncertainty. I'm tired. Everywhere cold the sacks of insanity. Wishing I was somewhere. I hear the labyrinth. The last thread of my sanity says, keep pushing, it'll all make sense. Throwing karma. What did you think of that dream? Can I do it again? The reaction, I think, to the idea is that of awe and wonder. This is amazing. Wonderful turnout. We're starting to get the flow of things. We're figuring out our timing. Yeah, this is beyond what we expected. It's really cool. The whole, I really like the whole experience. Uh, how far are we going to take this, I think, and um, until it wants to go? I mean, we're going to take it as far as we can. Um, I think that there's a very good possibility that we'll open up another facility. And, you know, who knows, maybe 10 years from now, we'll be a Fortune 500 company and control all dreams across the globe. Uh, maybe we'll send you on a vacation to Mars. <laughs>